dun 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 You ready for this? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. You guys are awesome. I love you guys for hanging in there, coming back. I just love it. I'm here for you guys. Just want you to know. So you guys, welcome to another daily show of my live broadcast. So is it bad? Are we good? Oh, we're good. Okay. So welcome you guys to another show. Um, I do daily shows and I'm here all about teaching, teaching, teaching. And so um, if you watch this video and you have a jewel tool or you're thinking about getting a jewel tool, I'm here to answer all your questions. It's like a little workhorse. It's a gift. But I was laughing because um, I, I don't know who this is, but Janet said, it's a hilarious thing. She says she grinds glass, works on product money, makes me more money. And if you don't believe me, I swear it says it right here. So I thought that was good. It saves me time. So the jewel tool saves her time. It makes her not makes her money, makes her more money, more money. I love that. That was good. That was that kind of yes. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you guys for coming back. Thank you so much. You really are the best. I really have the I have is the best. I love you guys. So today we're and on a put it here where it's a little lighter, a little too long. But and then I have like this flower that I made with the little cane okay so again don't judge but you were absolutely look at the back polish it's probably gross because i've been wearing it uh -huh, look hold on let me get the light to shine <laughs> it's really really pretty there you go you can yeah so i'll put that back on Go it's pretty huh i like it hold on my ears slipping oh there we go so I'm going to get, so guys, we had a little hiccup. I don't know. I, we don't even know what happened, really. Uh, clearly, we had internet connection. I was using it. Kristen was using it. Things were working just fine. So just to give you a little recap on what I will be working on today. So if I reference certain wheels, I want you to know what I'm talking We can do this. We did it yesterday. We got another one. Put it under our belt. We got this. So. Let's enjoy the jewel tool gives. You know, that's one thing I noticed. I posted people going, and I was like laughing. I'm like, you guys, it's not that complicated. I don't understand what is happening with people. But no one understands if they don't have a jewel tool, you guys, no one understands the ease of use of it. Please know that if you are not understanding what the jewel tool does please talk to someone that has one go on a come to welcome to our jewel tool community it's a private group i welcome you you can ask all the questions you want to all of our family members but and just be kind you know just because you don't know what the tool is you don't have to say snotty things about it everything in this world should be just filled with love and kindness and that's what I'm going clear, you guys. So let me grab my little cushion. Hold on. Because I'm going to show you guys the two different cushions I'll be using. There it is. I used it yesterday. Okay, so hold on. So let me go back to travel. Travel with me. Travel, travel, travel with me. So you guys, I'm going to be using the polymer clay um, kit that is for dome surfaces. So like I would be using it, let, here, let me actually show you this, look. So dome, dome surfaces, so obviously a bead would be perfect. The necklace I'm wearing, we use this. And then yesterday we used the kit for flat and curved surfaces. So for this little flower of mine, I know it's gorgeous, right? I know what you're thinking. How many people want it? The auction bid will start, guys. <laughs> So I'll be using, I'm going to show you guys how to use the pumice. Uh, uh, what I mean is these white ones. So there's a soft one, which is a little thicker. And there's a medium one that's a little thinner. But they are soft. What I mean is the black 3M bump on cushion. And these are for working on the backs of the um, pieces or the sharp corners or points 
We utilized that yesterday when we did the back side of the tendon right here to get it nice and flat right there beautiful and then i used it on the corners right there to kill the sharp edge and then i used it on the tip right here at the tip right there to fix that point so everything has a purpose you guys i really take the time to plan and get you the best product what in the world i'm talking about before I start getting into the bead, I'm going to drill a hole in it with my pearl vise, and I'll show you a little tip to hold the bead with wire if you can't hold it with your hands, okay? Tom says that's... <laughs> Tom, Tom, you must... Tom loves the for the versatility, but she says it saves money. More money. I love... Oh. I love you, Margaret. Thank you. Margaret just says she'll stick with me and follow me wherever I go. Okay, you can see I've done a lot of cleaning knot. Everything is <laughs> not. So let's go ahead. And so this is my pro vice, you guys. You, oh, hold on. Hold on. I was just show there. That one is this. I'll just do this one. Ready? Okay, there. Where should be my where should my hole the bead right here? A Oh no, Abby, please be safe. That's the most important thing, you guys. And look, this is one thing that I like to do, you guys, with our drill bits. Let me give you a little tip. Okay, so this is a big one. This is not like a little one or anything like that. You guys can see. Here's another smaller one. Of course, I have to go for the big. So if one shot, you can do it in two shots, but let's say I want to do it in one shot. So yeah, so like you can actually put a little mark on your drill bit right here you guys just so you know where to extend it out of the plug shaft do you guys see that yeah can you see that i'm trying to keep my fingers away from it do you see it as perfect so i went ahead and put a little mark right here on my drill bit just so i know to not shove it in too much so i'm right about here and that should do it it's going to extend a little bit more than I really want it to, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now I just got to find my key. Good job, Arnie. Good job. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm so organized. I could use the technique and hold it, but you know what, you guys? I'm going to take her. So this is, what a, well this is basically what it's going to look like. You guys see this? Hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's do this. This is the only thing I could do. This is good. So do you guys see how it's going to go through and go straight? Right there, right there. It's a guide hole. So that's what I'm doing. So basically, that's what's going to happen to this bead. It could be done. So is it, which one's easier to do? This, Yarrow? Yeah, I'll do it from the top so you guys can see. No, I actually I can see the feed. I'm good, Yarrow. Here. No, it'll be right here. So basically, I'm going to stick it in the hole. That should do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Let's do it one more time for good measure. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a chunk come flying out of there. Do you see that? Woo! Let's do it again. Let's clean that hole. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, I just want to make sure it's... Oh, Margaret has a... I am working with the drill bit. Just be mindful to not leave it here because they, even though that's really nice high speed steel, they could snap. Yeah, don't leave it s on the handpiece. So just loosen it real quick and just store it somewhere so you don't. Because if you by accident like left it like that, <laughs> guess what? It'll snap and break. Yeah. Oh, the handpiece I just took and I went like this. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so look, you guys, is the reveal. <gasps> okay, so here is the bead. You guys see that? We're going to loosen this baby up, and it just plops right in there. <gasps> look, we have a nice little hole all the way to the end. Hold on, you can't see that. Oh, you can see it right there. That's a hole. Let's flip that baby around. There you go. I had done a pearl. Yes. Yeah, so if you wanted to have, like, let's say, a larger hole, you guys, you just actually would just feed it in there. But I like the one millimeter, and it should be fine. So look, so I'm actually, see how nice this is, you guys? It's nice straight hole. Look, 
Maybe. You guys see that? So I just put a wire through. Now, if you guys, let's say, can't hold the bead with your hand, you can definitely create, I call it the little lollipop, where just bend it, twist it here. You guys see that? And now we made a little lollipop. Oh, the lollipop. And you can use the lollipop to now work on the jewel tool machine. So, hold on, let me show you. Let me cut this, Buka. Oh, I actually want to say a thank you. I didn't actually open it, but I got a really nice card this morning, you guys, from... Hold on. Let's see something in here. Oh, how beautiful. Wow, their cards. Cindy, Cindy Collins Designs. She, wow, she does all this. Mixed media artist. Wow, polymer clay, metal clay, and resin. Wow. Nice, Cindy. Thank you. And then she has paw prints on the heart. Oh, I'm the people. Aw, thank you, Cindy. And she wrote a card. Aw, thank you for all your videos and all you teach us. Thank you, Cindy. That means the world to me. I love you. Put that there, and I said I'll look at it. So there, honest little reaction. Okay. So you guys, now that I have the lollipop, oh, the lollipop, hey, remember the lollipop? Oh, multiple. Helen Wagner's asking how to do multiple beads at once. You know, um, no, Helen, I'm sorry, girlfriend. You're going to have to do them one by one. But it's really fast. Just chuck them in the pearl vice and go, chuck it in, so keep your fingers away. This will definitely keep your fingers from getting hurt. Because it just makes sure it gets straight and you feed it in. Yeah, it's true. You can hurt your fingers a little drill bits. Sorry. But yeah, there's no multiple ways. Ma now you got me thinking. What if I think of something now? Thanks, Helen. Okay. Yeah, so you guys, so this is my lollipop. You guys see this? Are you guys overhead? Okay, so, oh, let me zoom in a little bit more. Oh, is that too much? Shoot. I think that's a little much, guys. Oh, Carol had forgotten about the lollipop technique? Let me turn that light on. Yes, the lollipop. You like my lollipop? My lollipop's crooked, however. Look at this. I can't even put it on right. Look at this. My lollipop's at an angle, but whatever. And I kind of... Don't twist it too tight. Look at me. I twisted it too tight. It won't roll all the way. Oh, there we go. We made it work. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, yeah, so lollipop is very helpful, you guys. I'm glad you enjoy the lollipop. Let me use my plier to untwist it uh, just a little bit because I got a little overzealous on making a lollipop. Okay, so there. So look, so basically, if you have it, you can just roll it. It's right here. It's not really hard. And just kind of give yourself a little space to think, and then you can just twist it real quick. That's it. Yes, Cindy, we just got it. But you'll get it. We'll ship it out. We'll probably ship it out the same day. We're pretty good at that. Okay. So, you guys, now this is what now we're talking. Oh, yeah. So, this is a bead that I made. It's pretty, right? But you know I burned it, right? But it's okay. Even if you burn them, they still polish nicely. So, you can definitely. So, what I'm going to do is. So, majority of the time, you guys, you really don't need to go through all the steps. So, we're talking like steps like this. Look, so we've got, let me show you some. Where's my other fine? Huh, I'm missing one of them. Where did it go? It's okay, I'll steal it off the table. Give me a second, guys. So you have like the coarse, the medium. These are for shaping. I use this on the back of, like uh, on the back. But then these are your, going to be your, uh, your what's it called your go-to favorites the fine and the very fine you guys and just to show you honest to god you guys the the very fine is on the soft and i have a very fine you guys on the medium just to show you guys the difference you guys see that but i want to show you guys the difference between the soft and uh, the medium there's not that much of a difference but if you tend to catch a lot I would you push. So when you're pushing, 
it'll still make the connection but it'll still catch if you're doing a sharp corner just so you know um, but let me show you the difference I'm gonna run this at slow speed and even though it's a brand new bead you can see it's rough it's got my fingerprints God knows the things I did I burnt it but it has this really sexy color of pink which I'm really digging I hope that comes out pretty so I'm gonna turn my vacuum on run it at like slow like about slow speed you don't want to go too integrate so margaret says i can uh, grind off the burned surface so underneath there'd be something prettier really hold on let's look oh the pink is actually coming out better oh a lot so this is the soft you guys just show you guys the difference so the, the soft is not going to allow really flat spots, but it's really recommended that you keep it moving, boys and girls. Don't just stand in one spot. Just keep it rolling, which is nice. You can see it. So what I'm doing is lightly touching the wheel. Like you can even feed it in like this. Look, just roll it like this. I just got to make sure I remember where I am and mark it. So I know where I've kind of went to and where I'm going. Yeah, so I'm using a contrasting color. So this is a silver Sharpie. You guys see that? That with the golden. Sing a song. What's nice is your hands will thank you. My, si Like, who sings when sanding? Like, you know, usually sanding is such a laborious process. But here it's fun. I could see all the lumps and bumps I'm sanding out. Look at that already. Look, there's a little spot in the center. Look, I'll get you. I'll get you, my pretty. So if something's a little stubborn, don't push it using the the very fine. You see the very fine? Eh, it's still not working. And I kind of abuse my very fine to do it. So it's best to get off and go to the fine. Do you understand? It's not worth ruining your pad or creating a... So look at how fast that took it out. Look at that. You guys see that's gone. So, so even this is nice so like even if you just have like some bumps and lumps you can just touch it up real quick you know what i mean jelly bean just real quick any of the lumps but i'm gonna go back to the other grade i think i'm pretty good i was pretty good on this it's easy to make beads so i'm gonna get off of this and just as i promised i was working on the soft the thicker one and this is a thinner one i want to show you guys how the thinner one works ready so again, so, so it's going to still give you, don't get me wrong, it's still going to conform. It's not going to give you any kind of flat spots. Look, let's show you. You see that? Look. So it's not going to give you any kind of flat spots, you guys. Get near that little center. There we go. Just keep it going. I talk a lot in these videos. I should just play attention. So all I'm doing is just kind of like using the wheel to navigate and seeing what I'm doing really aids to that, you guys. But I'm not pushing. I just want you to know that even if you push on the very fine, which is a nine micron, you'll gouge your wheel. I mean, you'll gouge your polymer clay and probably your wheel too. So, but I just want you guys to know I'm holding it, navigating it. Even if I'm working on the edge, with a round piece, it's not going to catch. So if you have anything that, like let's say the, s the abrasive kind of flipped, it's because you used it on a sharp corner and it bent and it flipped. If not, plain physics would not allow anything to catch right now because it's a round surface. It's domed, obviously. Nothing could catch. Okay, Yaro, you do that. Okay, we're going to do a side view, and I think I'm done. Let me just... Eh. Okay, so I'm really touching it light. Yeah, let's approach it. Ready? Okay, and I kind of work more in the center, you guys. So you just glide. It's like, so look here, I'm going to come up to it. You guys see I'm barely touching it. And you just glide over it. So it's kind of like you're just skating lightly over it. No pushing. You're rocking. Look, and you get that really nice finish. Here too. 
yeah, just a light little touch. You guys, I'm going to keep those dots there. I forgot where I was. Lovely, Ani. I don't even know where I was, you guys. I just keep talking. The sil uh, If the inside of your beads are turning black, it's from the silver wire. It could be a plating. It could be anything. You don't even need to do a silver wire, you guys. Like, they even have, like, I want to say those plastic wires, you know? Or Beadalon even has, like, those little weird wires. I don't know. I'm just saying anything to hold it. And that should do it. Let me just now touch up. Let me just now touch up. So just keep it moving, you guys. You don't want to stay in one spot. So I watch Lisa Pavelka. Does, do you guys know who Lisa Pavelka is? She actually has two jewel tools. She actually gave one of her jewel tools away to a lovely... want to stay in one spot. So she always tells you to keep it moving. So I'm going to follow suit. Just like Lisa says, you guys. She's like the pro when it comes to the polymer clay. Keep it moving, boys. Keep it moving. Like if you come to LAX airport and you think you can park and say bye or wait for someone, those security guys will go, keep it moving, keep it moving. I can easily go back and touch it up, but this is just a good little information for you guys. Now, if I want to polish near the holes, just undo your little lollipop, get rid of the lollipop. Sorry, lollipop, you're, you're gone, it's nice and fluid. You guys see that? So I'm just sanding. It's kind of like everything you would do by hand, but now you have a motor attached to it. Ugh, which makes life so much easier. So you can pop that back. Let me go the other side. Margaret, you love Lisa? I love Lisa. Lisa became another uh, grandmother recently, you guys. I swear that woman is so young. Yeah, Lisa Pavelka became another grandma. One of her children... I mean, not another. She had another grandchild. I know. You know what I mean. Sorry. I'm trying to concentrate here. I'm trying to move like Lisa Pavelka tells me to. I love her. Yeah, no, one of her children, I can't remember if it was her son or her daughter, had another uh, child. So she added another grandchild to her life. Yeah, I'm sorry. She became another grandmother. You like that, huh? I see. I keep you on your toes around here, people. You guys really don't have to get too crazy. The objective is to get it smooth, and hopefully we did that. I'm going to take this off. So the next step, I really don't use the wire because you don't want the wire on. And this is all I've got. Look, you guys. See, look, some of the expensive. <gasps> Missy. <gasps> Missy Prince. Thank you. Missy says she's sending me some goodies to work on, some resin pieces, you guys. So I'm really excited. So we'll be doing some resin because Missy sent it to me. So you guys. I have, um, and then one says compound. You guys see that? Compound. Oh, this one actually says no compound. We'll just call it compound. So no compound. Actually, our new ones say do not use compound. I should sh be. Um, so, uh, Louise, if you're watching, your new um, uh, kit that we just sent out yesterday, you might even get it today, says do not use compound, and then the other one says use with compound want to show it I'll show it to you guys after what it looks like but it's really nice so this one actually has compound this is the one I prepped from yesterday so I'm going to turn this on at clay people say hold on before I polish you guys just wait so a lot of people wet sand thank you Margaret for the little reminder so the reason why a lot of people wet sand and they sand with soap and everything so they go through and the reason why they do a lot of the wet because you can, all of these you can use wet, absolutely. But it's unnecessary because the wet creates a lubri lubrication. So it makes that process a little smoother, easier, you know, because you're doing it by hand. Whether When it's dry, it's a little ear, 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 you know. So, But these are people that go through, like, we're talking six to, I've seen nine. We just lost connection. Oh, Facebook crashed. Facebook crashed. I'm hanging on. I 
I don't know what's happening today. So all I needed to do is buff the speed and then buff it again and we were done. We were down for the home stretch, home run. Hey Kristen, the air is awfully warm today. Do we have to call Karen? Oh, my why, my mic's flying? So you guys, if you guys can see me, hi, that's me again. It's like those people that like creep up on the sides of the TV here. I'm back! Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to continue. Good thing I stopped, huh? So I'm going to buff this sucker and we're going to polish it. So right now, you guys, that's the same bead we were using. So come along, come, 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 come. So this is the buff that I'm going to use. This is the one with compound. So you're going to run this at full speed, high speed, high, 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 high speed. So put my vacuum on. Give yourself some good amount of compound. Don't be shy. So what this compound is going to do is it's going to give you the finest sanding that you've ever seen in your life. So you just want to make sure. Do you guys see that sanding? Oh, my God. So, like, there's no way that you could sand this by hand. Do you see that? So just keep going. And if you miss the spot, you can always go back and touch it up. Don't, don't beat yourself over the head. No big deal. Keep this on hand. Give yourself another zhuzh. And so you're just going to hold it there and glide. Nice, even passes. You guys see that? Clean that up. Just fall. So what I do is I, f oh, wow. You guys can see it happening, huh? It's happening. It's happening. So you guys, look. So give yourself a little of the compound. So, we're so if you see this compound here, just push it aside. So that kind of aids you to see where you've been. Do you guys see that? So do you guys see how I'm kind of pushing the compound? And that tells me I've already taken care of this area. You know what I mean? So just kind of go over. Do you guys see that? Are you guys seeing this? R like seriously. So this is the sanded side. And this is the pre-polished side. So we're just going to keep going. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Just give it a little zhuzh. A little zhuzh. Here we go. A little zhuzh. Don't push. Give yourself a little bit of, you know, you know, make contact with the, the buff. But if you notice, I'm not pressing to the point of changing the shape of the buff. So I'm just kind of like gliding, working it, working it, working it. Are you seeing this, guys? Make sure I clean up everything. Clean up wherever I'm working. And again, you guys, if I miss the spot, have no fear. The jewel tool is here. I can just go back. And I don't have to sand the whole bead. I can just sand that one little section. Because you know what? You know what's up. You can see through the wheel. Oh, my God. You guys, are you seeing this? Wow. Yeah, that bead actually looks so nice since I sanded it down. So now the next step is going to get rid of all that compound marks. You don't have to stop and look at every little time you do this. I'm doing this for the video, for teaching purposes, you guys. I think I've gotten everything. Let me just double check. So just for good measure, we're going to go over everything. I don't even know where I am anymore, tell you guys. So we're just going to sand it down. So sanding this down. So this is like a pre uh, like a light the finest sanding known to man right so we're just going to go that over this like this you guys see that oh my god we're already there 
<gasps> okay, see this? So just keep going. Just I think I've done everywhere. Just let me make sure I got near the edges, uh, like the area by the holes. I think I did. I think I'm kind of overdoing it, but it's okay. It's better to be safe than sorry. And if you really miss the spot, I'll show you how you can go back and touch it up. So I'll pretend I missed the spot. Yeah, show a side view. So watch, I'm going to put compound. Watch how I put the compound on. Ready? So I'm going to give myself a good amount of compound. And then let's say I'm going to hold it right here. And I'm just going to light. So I'm pinching it here and kind of going to press with my index finger. Just a light little, just make sure you're even. So you're like a sanding at this stage. You see that? So it's a light sand. So don't push. You don't want to melt your polymer clay. Let me see if I got, I, there's a spot I think I missed. Thank you, Margaret. Yeah, it is, it's really like magic. I even get shocked. Oh, okay. So Georgiana said, what will happen if you use like the diamond polishing, like the diamond on polymer clay? nothing is just going to sand it down and make all sorts of marks it's unnecessary to use um uh what is it a diamond it's a waste of money the diamonds are you oh see i have like a little fingerprint still here do you guys see that i'm going to go back and fix that let me check anywhere else that i missed yeah here's another fingerprint okay so i'm going to go back and touch these up yeah, I was wondering why they weren't polishing up in that area because I missed it. So this is what I'm going to do. This is the beauty of the jewel tool, you guys. Where th where'd those suckers go? Okay, so I have like a little divot here. I want to say like right about, because I, I, I'm a perfectionist. I want everything to be perfect, perfect. So in this vicinity, we have issues. Where's that other spot? Oh. Here it is. This is the spot right here. I don't want to do a co full circle, but that should do that. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to sand this area. So clearly, it's not that I missed it. I think that the very fine was just too fine for the job. So I am going to enlist my fine to do the job for me. So let's run this at slow speed. Put the vacuum on. And so I'm going to make a beeline for this area. Do you guys see that one spot right there? So just going to roll it left to right until I see it disappear. Oh, yeah, it was deep. Yeah, it was no match for the very fine. Poor thing. So there. Now we got rid of that. So I'll leave that there, and I'll touch it up with the very fine. Let me just make sure. There's another little spot here. You know, you don't know until you actually get to this stage. And so right here is another deep little scratch. Do you guys see that right there? So I'm just going to touch it up just a little. Just give myself a little nice, like a little zhuzh to go. I kind of want to uh, unleash some of that pink. I'm going to listen to what Margaret said and grind a little bit more. I want to really see some of that pink. Thank you, uh, Tom says, that's a good looking marble I just made. Okay, so that is the fine. You see, even the fine, how aggressive it could be. So we're going to go back to the very fine, you guys. Here it is. And I'm going to run it again, slow speed. And now just go over everywhere I worked on with the fine. So just kind of glide over. And you can see the difference in sand. The, the color difference here. I'll show you the difference. I'll leave some uh, with the fine and show you the difference. Hold on. So let me change the scratch pattern. Okay. So you guys, right here is where I use the very fine. And here is the fine. So you guys can see that clearly this area right here is a little duller than this. So I'm going to now transition and do the whole thing. So let's keep going. So the jewel tool is spinning at low speed. Sorry. Hold on. And you can change your rub pattern. So if I was working like this, you guys, change it and go in this direction. You know, don't follow that same scratch pattern. 
Change it up, baby. You know, you don't want those same scratches, so just keep it rolling. That's why, maybe that's why uh, Lisa's always saying to keep it moving, to roll. So you change that scratch pattern. Uh-huh. Hurry, I don't have much to sand. Very light touch. There we go. That should do it. Now remember, these are the these are things that I made. I never knew how to make any polymer clay. So now this is another area that we're going to work on. So just touch it up real quick. Dun, 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 dun. And you're always going to get a nice even flow with the jewel tool. No lumps, no bumps. Nice, nice and even. Keep your nails out of the area. Oh, what 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 that? What do you wipe it with, Margaret? The alcohol. Oh, al okay. So Margaret gave a really nice tip to avoid fingerprints, because clearly those were fingerprints, huh, Margaret? You're so smart, Margaret. You picked up on that. Margaret said that before you bake it, you can use a lint-free alcohol wipe, and that'll remove the fingerprints before. Um, before baking. You know what, Margaret? We would do that. We would use alcohol to wipe down. You want to hear a trick? So, like, let's say if you're a wax carver, as a jeweler, this is like wax that we would carve before we're going to have something cast. I would actually sand this all smooth and I would wipe it down with alcohol and it would actually smooth out any kind of rough, like, areas that I still had with alcohol. So that's interesting that you would do the same with the polymer. Very interesting. Hmm. So I learned something new. Thank you, Margaret. So that was a very fine. So now we're going to go back to the compound. Okay, compound. Put that back on. Put that full speed ahead. Give myself some compound. Nice. So this is the area that we're going to work on. Clearly it's dull. This is more polished. This is dull. So we're going to just hold it there just lightly and see if we got that area of those things out and sure enough yeah baby they're gone look at it no more fingerprints so give yourself another one beautiful done so but do you see if you if you want to go back and fix something up it's not like the end of the world you just go back touch it up and being able to see through the wheel is so helpful in marking it. So don't forget, be mindful and mark, you guys. There we go. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so I'm going to be using all of, so this is also the area I did, I just did. So this is the polished side. Look how nice that's looking. And then now this is that side that I made so the item I've used so far is on the screen, and I'm going to use more. I'm going to use some of the items that are found in the flat uh, polymer clay kit. This is These are the add-on kits. Yeah, the deluxe comes with everything. The deluxe will come with the stuff to do the domed pieces, and it'll come with the stuff to work on the flatter pieces. And the curved one that we're going to work on right now. So that's that. And there we go. Oh, there we go. I think that's good, you guys. I think I'm done. I'm just having too much fun. I love working on polymer clay. I just want you guys to know, if you guys have always considered working with polymer clay oh let me be the first to encourage you it is number one so friendly to work with number two i mean it can give you so many great ideas that if you want to incorporate into your metal working like you don't understand and people love it people love that it's light okay so i'm good i think i'm good guys we're good okay all right so it's light. Don't forget that. It's not a heavy bead. So, you guys, the colors are really coming out, huh? I'm really excited. Who knew, right? Who knew my 
beautiful burnt bead would look like this. So now I'm going to take the buff that says no compounds, okay? And yesterday I showed how to fluff this. If you want to know how I fluffed it, you guys, it was with sand. It. When you get a new buff, you should do this, you know, kind of give it an extra fluff. You can slow it down to really get in there and give yourself extra fluff. But other than that, this is what it should look like. So nice and fluffy. We want it here. Let me get back into the camera. It's got to be nice and fluffy. You see like a little rabbit's tail. So we're going to put that on at full speed, you guys. Now, I'm barely going to touch it. I want you to count. Let's count how many seconds it's going to take to polish this set. Already? I'm going to lightly touch it. Not push into it. Just lightly touch. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And look at what I get. Do you understand? Yaro says that was like four seconds. Okay, so you shouldn't be holding it for more than just a few seconds to get that polish. Because the step before already prepared, the compound step before prepared it for this. So all you're doing now is just giving that extra shine. Look at this. You guys see how quickly that comes up? Oh my God, I love this. So we're just going to keep going. See, real quick. God, had I known that pink was so pretty, I would have put more of that in there. Who knew? This is what I love about polymer clay. You can have so much fun with it and create and create. And I've even heard people play with polymer clay, and it's given them such inspiration, even on their metalworking pieces, you guys. So there, you see that just real quick? We're going to do this here. So you see, it's a little doll here. So you're just going to hold it here just slightly. Just keep it rolling. Give it one more pass. And look at that shine that you get. Isn't that just lovely? Yeah. Just if don't push more. If you push more, you're going to start cooking it. You're going to start eating into it. You guys see? Oh, my God. And it's nice and fluid. There's no lumps. There's no bumps. There's nothing. Your hands are not tired. It's just lovely. My hands never get tired. They're just like enjoy the process. Now let's go over the hole. Let's make sure I got everywhere. There. Oh, that's beautiful. And you guys see how the light is reflecting over it? So you're just going to touch it up. Let me just make sure I got all the other half done. You don't want to push. Light touch. Like light. Look, I'm holding it with one hand. Look at this. Just a light little touch. You don't need to do much. It's already prepped, ready to go, and you get that. Hold on. Let it focus. Is it focused, Yaro? Almost. But do you see how it follows the light? Like, look at that. Like, look at that. No lumps. No look at that so you guys this is the bead that we worked on and this is what i mean no lumps no bumps the colors just pop you know deborah i ha i did a metal clay earlier on in one of my videos um i have a piece from Jackie Trudy, I'll, I'll try to get some metal clay pieces, but basically it's the same scenario as polishing any kind of metal. It's, it's silver at the end of the day, so, you know, but I'll show you some other tips I have. So look, yeah, so I'll revisit some metal soon, but just take a look at this. You guys like it? What do you guys think? It came out pretty, huh? Right, it does look like glass. Honest to God, people... Thank you, Missy. Missy, sa Missy says it literally looks wet. <laughs> Becky, you like it? I know, huh? Me too. Who knew I made this? I'm telling you, you guys, polymer clay gives you such satisfaction, like immediate satisfaction, you guys. Um, so I like this. So I'm going to actually hold it here. Where's my lollipop? I lost it. Oh, here it is. Yara, give me front cam. I'm going to put it on my lollipop. 
Oh, the lollipop. It's so dark, but you can see it better under my light. Yeah, you can't see it here. You, all you see is the shiny ball. <laughs> the shiny black ball is like my eyeball. Yeah, look. I see you. Yeah. So, you guys, so this was working on a round bead. Um, do I have time to do the other flower? Oh, yeah, I got to go. All right, you guys, I'm going to have to continue that. I know. Sorry. I'm going to have to continue this one tomorrow. But let me show you guys a, a wheel that I'm going to use for tomorrow's show on this. Let me show you because I had I would plan on showing it to you guys today because we just got them in stock. It's a buff wheel. Yeah, yeah, I'll show it real quick on metal. So this buff you can use on metal, and I was going to use it on my polymer clay. It's my new precision little buff. Do you guys see them? They're really, really little. They're just two inches in diameter, but I like that they get into tough spots. They're just like really, yeah, quarter, not even a quarter inch thing, even less. But I was going to use the two clean ones for the polymer clay, and you'll see me use these tomorrow. But if you want to use these on metal, as you can see, oh, cool. As you can see, this one I've used on metal. They're really cute, you guys. But the advantage is, hold on, let me get that on there. Let me twist that on. There you go. So the advantage is to this, like, let's say that, where is this? Oh, here, look. So, like, let's say I want to polish into this, this, hold on, let it focus. Ready. Okay, so do you guys see how, instead of using the brushes in a few steps, you guys can totally get away with this. Look, it'll totally, here, can you do a side cam? It'll totally fit in there. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? So check this out. So or or like into this area, even in this area. Okay, whatever, whatever view. So I'm gonna turn this on at full speed. Give myself compound, you guys. Okay, so give yourself a good amount of compound, right? It's a brand new one. You can. So if I just want to get into like this area, look, just real quick. It's so precise, you guys. Look at how it polishes right into that nook and cranny. This is kind of what I wanted for, like, a, because I know a lot of people like these buffs. They're really nice. And so, like, let's say I want to get into this really tough little spot right here. Watch this. Let's see if it'll get in there. You know me. I'll try anything. Let's try to get in there. Oh, show, okay, show side view before I'm done. I'm about to be done. So you see how here, let me pull it back so you guys can see. See how it kind of gets into that nook and cranny in there? Uh, top view. Okay, hold on. Let me get out of there. And look at how it polished in there. Wow. That is pretty cool. So that is something I was going to show you guys on today. So these are great for getting into, as you can see, that little nook right there all the way in there got it got all the way in there you guys i'm actually impressed wow yeah it got all the way in there nice thank you so i wanted to show you guys this wheel and then like okay so that was one oh really you can't see it so even if i have like even if i have something like like this you guys into these grooves you get hold on let it focus or these grooves. Okay, so look at how it gets into here real quick. Without kind of killing it because I'm just using my real high polish. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> what? You guys see that? Wow. That's pretty cool. So I really wanted something to kind of get in there. Like it will even go in there. Look at that. Got into the little circle. So just these, just these little ones get into little nooks and crannies. So I really wanted to get, find, get my buff man, uh, manufacturer to make these really narrow ones. So I don't know if you could use these or if they're helpful, but I know that I could. There's times where these little suckers would have helped. 
Okay, so what I'm going to use tomorrow is I'm going to use the pink pumice brush to sand and to get into all these areas. And I'm going to still use my two buffs. Don't get me wrong. I'm still going to use these two buffs. But these I'm going to use to sweep into really tough little areas. Do you guys see that? To polish. And then I'm going to use my magic buff to polish in here. So that's why I don't want to rush this, you guys. I really want to show you guys a proper instructional way to do something like this or anything that has designs and whatnot. You guys hear me? You heard me? Oh, this is a good one, too. So even if you have, like, this nasty, look at this. This is, like, so gross. Like, it was ground down. Like, someone even ground down a whole lot of it. But I want to show you guys, like, let's say I want to get into this corner right there. Do you guys see that? You are you guys can you guys see that? So if I turn this on, let's put some compound. Let's see if it gets into it. I love trying things out, you guys. It's like, let's try it. So I'm just going to squeeze it in there. Yeah, get in there, side view. So I'm just holding it there. And it's really comfortable to use. It doesn't want to pull it out of your hand, you guys. Right here? What am I doing? Like right here? At 6 o'clock? Okay, uh, that's enough polishing. Oh, my God! Do you see that? Oh, top view. Oh, sorry. Hold on. You see how it got into that little nook and cranny, you guys? That's impressive. This is what I wanted for this buff to get into the little nooks and crannies. Because you know, you guys, you can't get into it with this to get a high polish. You know, we really rely on the brushes to do it, and they do an excellent job. But sometimes you just want to get in there for a buff. These are really good, you guys. So they're like little. They're like, like my little friends. Hello, my little friends. Aren't they so cute? So yeah, so you guys, just so you know, these are up on my site right now oh they're there they're like little and i had to have them custom made i know you're like i don't want you guys to say oh well but the big one costs almost the same honest to god it's it, sometimes the littler things cost just as much as the big stuff because they have to work with much more detail it's true i made them do such detail i know the ipad mini is just as expensive as the ipad and you're like hey but you get you get what you want, so you got it. So anyway, so I worked really hard to get these, you guys. I love them, and they really serve a a purpose. And um, yeah. So there. Hope you guys like these. I like them. So they're up on my screen. I have a limited amount because I wanted to see how well you guys like them. So be mindful. Okay. And then uh, yes, I have my Christmas in July sale going on now, you guys. A lot of good stuff on sale, and we have the free shipping still, $149. Uh, anything over that, you get free shipping, so it's a great time. We have limited vacuums now for sale. Uh, we will be shipping them early next week, um, and yeah, good stuff. So I just want to really commend everyone for the creativity that they're doing. Um, I just... I'm like excited. You guys have, look at my little lollipop. Oh, the lollipop. So, so you guys, I just, yeah, it's right there. I got to put it over here. It's really pretty. I, I know I made it, but I'm not being, a I'm not showing off, but I'm actually impressed. <laughs> you know, it beats sanding by hand. Honest to God, if if I could give a jewel tool away like Oprah, I wish I was Oprah. I could say, and you get a jewel tool, and you get a jewel tool, and you get a jewel tool. I would. I promise to God. But I manufacture this. I work with 3M, and 3M is the top and the top and the top and the top of the top of the line. You know, all their abrasives. I mean, you'd be a fool to say 3M's abrasives are not good. <laughs> People would laugh, laugh at you. They're really the top of the line. They are the premier leader in technology with abrasives, and not to mention their diamond technology surpasses everybody. So I 
Love you all for hanging in there, you guys. You did it. We did it. We made it. We did it. And I still have my gorgeous necklace. You guys like the gold? I didn't even get feedback on this, you guys, because we were like in and out, in and out of signal. You guys see I put it on a gold chain with a little gold, um, what's it called, pinch bail. Ah, thank you, Margaret. And thank you so much for um, posting in other groups and sharing the word of Jewel Tool, <laughs> the word of Ani. <laughs> I really appreciate that, you guys, because you know what I've been hearing? I hear so many people say, oh my God, I didn't even know about this tool. And they've been doing things the really hard way. And, you know, it, it of course, if they have the means, it would definitely benefit them. But I just appreciate you guys really spreading the word. You know, the more people that I can get watching here, the more community we can build. I'll continue to do these live videos, you guys. Um, I'm here to support you. I just, oh, I just love you all. You're just a blessing to me, you guys. You truly are. And I wish you happiness, freedom to do and create whatever your heart desires because you know the Jewel Tool does allow you to do that. Freedom. If you uh, want to do an equation, Jewel Tool equals freedom. You just got to follow the laws of physics. Ugh, so annoying, laws of physics. You always annoy us. We try to get, I try to get past it, darn it, but it is what it is. So anyways, you guys, um, just thank you so much for everything. Um, and I think our, Jewel to our July, uh, Christmas in July sale will be ending soon. And tomorrow is Friday giveaway. What, 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 what? And we'll be giving away a good prize tomorrow. So stay tuned. And I guess we'll just finish tomorrow um, the flower, my gorgeous flower. And stay tuned because I really want to give a proper instructional video on this. And again, if you're working on plastics, acrylic, resin, same rules apply. I just happen to have polymer clay. I made these pieces with polymer clay. So, uh, um, ice resin people gave me a whole bunch of ice resin stuff. So if I have time, I'll even play with that. But Missy Prince is sending me resin, so I don't even have to do that. So I'm excited. So if you guys want to see a, spe a specific item, feel free to send it in to me or if you don't even have means to go to the post office or do not want to go to the post, post office or you don't even want to leave your house, let us know and we'll send you a label, you guys. I'm here to help any way I can. So I'm willing to do that for you because uh, my whole life. So you guys, with that said, I wish you a fabulous day. Thank you for sticking in, watching me, and I will see you guys here tomorrow for... Fry, yay, give away. Oh, yeah, fry. Yeah, it's tomorrow. I gotta save my, I'll save the song. I'll save the song. So, you guys, is there anything else I have to say, Yara, before going? Anyone's questions? Thank you for looking forward to tomorrow. Oh, my God, you guys are so funny. Margaret and Nicole Ritchie made me laugh. On, uh, you guys, I read the comments. I truly do. They tell me what the comments are, but I also read them. And the funniest comment, I swear, Nicole said, I'll be so sad when Ani's not going to do these videos anymore. And Margaret Schindel goes, don't put any ideas in her head, Nicole. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's something I would say, Margaret. Oh, my God. Lee Smith said something. Oh, yes. Yeah, so Cindy Leeds. Yes, yeah, so uh, so uh, sh she said, who was it? So Lee Smith was introduced to the Jewel Tool. Oh, so, uh, uh, yes. Yes, so, yes, so Louise said that she was introduced to the Jewel Tool many years ago with Cindy Leeds. I always wondered what happened to Cindy Leeds. I mean, you can see she uses her Jewel Tool all the time. It's in the back of all her YouTube videos. I've seen it. It's always, like, in the back. But... I guess everyone wants me to